hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video i appreciate you all my return subscribers and as well my new viewers thank you so much so my darlings in today's video i will be showing you guys how i process pap which is popularly known as akamo <laughs> i've been doing this for my kids right from when they were seven months old till date but first of all let me show you guys how i buy these grains from the market okay so i use three type of grains in making pap which is yellow corn millet and guinea corn and this is how i buy them in the market i mix them together that way it's way way cheaper just like what you see the guy doing now this is um guinea corn that he added and then he also added millet but i usually tell them to make the yellow corn to be more than the millet and the guinea corn because i mean the yellow corn is what thickens the pop okay so right after buying the three different type of grains i'll take it home sorry i had to swallow saliva there i'll take them home and then i'll start processing the grains okay so please keep watching and while you watch my darlings please support your girl by liking this video give it a big thumbs up as it goes a long way in encouraging me and also it helps my channel grow to my new viewers before i forget to say this please subscribe and join becky the mommy's youtube family thank you as you subscribe so guys right after i go home i poured out the grains into the big bucket that you're seeing so after pouring the grains into the bucket i'll mix them properly before i soak it in water okay but first guys this is the ginger that i'll also be adding to these grains so here i'm washing the grains properly before i soak the grains usually i soak the grains for three whole days and each morning guys i'll, I'll pour out the water and um, replace the water with a clean one so it won't um have a bad smell okay if you get what i mean so this is the third day and i'm pouring out the water again to wash it properly for the um third day before taking it to the big engine where i usually grind this grains my darlings i don't use my blender at home because the blender won't give me the smooth paste that i need so i take these grains to a bigger engine to grind them okay so here all i'm just doing is making sure is neat and properly washed like i mentioned earlier each day i made sure i changed the water to a clean one in order not to you know allow the grains to have a bad smell so here i've washed the ginger and i've added the ginger to the grains and here i am going to the place where i usually grind these grains so guys as you can see i chopped the um, ginger into pieces before adding it to the grains i mean to make it easy for it to grind properly in the engine okay so here the grinder is adding the grains to the big engine and this is the first stage this is the first stage after grinding for the first time and then they'll pour it again into the engine all we're trying to do is to get a very smooth paste because if you don't get a smooth paste you won't be able to get um very nice pop that is why it is advisable you grind this corn with the big engine so this is the bag it's dried now this is the bag i will use to form the pop when i'm done sieving okay so i'll use this bag for the final process of which you guys will definitely be seeing so i'm not using this one right now i just wanted to show you guys okay so this is the net that I'll be using to sieve the corn. So this is the corn. This is the corn. Okay, this is the corn. So it filled the two buckets. Okay guys, so this is where the real work starts. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sieving the mist grinded grains. Okay, so this is how I know how to sieve this 
corn or pap or akamu whichever way you call it this is how my mother taught me how to sieve i know that there are other patterns people use i don't know how to do those patterns this way is very easy for me in less than two hours i'm done sieving these grains see how dry it looks see how dry it is this is how you know that it's just um the shafts that's left no single water again coming out even if i add even if i add water see no it's not creamy again see it's not creamy again it's just sharp left so this is done i'm done with this i'll take this out now and put the next set this is completely dry. I've squeezed that. <laughs> I've squeezed that all the pap, all the milk. I've squeezed that all the juicy parts. So this is just shaft left. So I'm going to pack this out now. So just put this here. And um, move on to the next one. So, guys, this is practically how I sieved the grinded mist grains. Okay, so after each set turns to dry shaft, I take them out and pour in a new set until I finished sieving, or rather, until I got done sieving the full two bucket of grinded mist grains. This process is way easier for me. So guys, I'm done sieving the akamo, or rather the pap, that's the English name. Okay, so um, this is the water up here that's very clear. So as you can see, this will likely be the pap, okay? So I'll let this settle. The pap is already um, settling down and the water up will be thrown away, okay? So I'll leave this overnight till tomorrow morning and then i would um, tie the pop in the bag so to make it um sunny. so guys this is the next day morning and here i am pouring out the water from the bucket since the pop had already settled down okay so i did this to the first bucket and i also did this to the second bucket so the next thing i did was to transfer the pop to the bag now the reason for doing this is because i want to turn this pop to solid as you can see there is still a bit of water um still mist in the pop so by the time i'm done doing this you still see water dripping out okay so i turned the first bucket and then i also turned the second bucket of um pub in the bag and after doing this i would tie the bag very tight as tight as i can <laughs> so guys i'm done so i'm going to tie this bag now you guys see the amount of water Woo! the amount of water coming out Oh my goodness, this Akamu will be bigger, bigger, bigger. So my people, as you can see, all I'm trying to do here is to tie the bag very tight and also squeeze out as much water as I can. But we're not going to start using this pop today. I'm going to leave this bag like this. I mean, I'm going to leave the whole pop like this in the bag. Then the next morning, you would see that the pop would solidify. Okay. You guys, you guys, see the pop. So, the Akamo is not solid. See? It's now solid. So, so I'll put them in a Ziploc bag like this and store in the freezer. So whenever I want to use it, I just bring out a portion and allow it to defrost before making the pop. Okay, I'm definitely going to be showing you guys an example of how to make pop. Okay, for eating. So guys, this is the end product of what? How to make pop. Look at it. Look at it. Mm -hmm.